<laughs> I get it. Hey, save the hate mail in the snide comments. It's my hair. It's what God gave me. Live with it. At least it ain't a mullet. And what's with the mullet anyway? Mullet? They still do that? I asked my brother Billy. The mullet? I, I don't know. I asked my brother Frankie. I don't know. I asked Oakland County Executive L. Brooks Patterson. Mullet? I don't have a clue. Something I'd like to have myself, but like I said, I haven't seen that since Billy Ray Cyrus. Basically, the mullet is a haircut that is short in front, long in the back. There used to be an old saying that went with it, that business in the front, pleasure in the back or something. Mullet is uh, business in the front and fun in the back. Well, it's that, that hairstyle, man, you know, where, you know, business up front, party in the rear. Party in the back, that's it. Neanderthals wore a mullet. The Egyptians wore mullets. A faction of 6th century chariot racers wore mullets, and their followers used to riot after the races. This is the precursor to the football hooligan mullet. Wow, who invented the mullet? I have no idea. Jesus? George Washington. A powdered mullet. The founding fathers had mullets. The mullet disappeared until the 1970s rockers David Bowie and Paul McCartney brought it back. What do you want to do with your life? I want to rock! The mullet hit its peak in the 80s. Sports figures, country singers, B-list actors, and hockey players all rocking the mullet. It was mostly a white guy thing. But Latino and black guys had their own spin on it. I don't know, you know, I, when I think of a mullet, I think of a pack of cigarettes rolled up in a, you know, rolled up in a sleeve. It just looks dirty. It just, it emanates dirt. Oh, definitely white people. Yeah, de definitely white people. I remember those rites of passage when you could grow your hair a little longer. Um, you got out of knickers and got into corduroys. You were really styling then. I want to show you this photograph. It's, it's of a guy with a mullet, and he's not dirty. He's, he's wearing a tuxedo. Uh, that's you, dude. Explain this. Well, this was, oh my god, 1979. Um, this is when I launched the petition drive for the death penalty. Well, that's true, but I mean, I really pulled it off. The mustache comes uh, from a hunting accident. I was up north, and uh, when I shot at the deer, the recoil caught my lip, so I uh, had you know, a few stitches and couldn't shave for a couple of months. And then yeah, walk around with this guy the rest of my life. By the turn of the 21st century, the mullet was all but extinct. Never saw a real live mullet. Well, I don't see the mullet much anymore. Where would we go if we want to find a lot of mullets? Down river? So I went down river. Oh, yeah, look at that. Everybody's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm bringing the mullet back. And my daughter told me, she said, Dad, you know Billy Ray Cyrus is bringing the mullet back? I said, no, Dad's bringing the mullet back. A lot of times people see the mullet and they instantly think Southern idiot, but that's not really the way it is at all. Um, there's a lot of educated people that actually have the mullet and wear it well. Turns out mullets are people just like you and me. Mullets like to rock. Mullets keep America moving. Mullets love their children. Mullets love their neighbors too. Maybe I was wrong to put down the mullet. The old saying taught to me in church comes back to mind. It's not what you look like on the outside. It's what you are on the inside. A lot of things beyond appearance that make a person what he is or she is, and hopefully that's how we judge each other. What would you do if your son showed up at home with that? I would support him. I would, I would support his decision to look ridiculous. So fly your freak flag, wear your mullet, your dreadlocks, your toupee. Be proud, because being who you want to be is what makes life a gas.
Rockin' the mullet in Ferndale. Charlie the Duff, Fox 2 News. Which brings us to Bowl of Bacon. Is the mullet making a comeback, or is it best, best left on the shelf, consigned to the dustbin of hair history? <laughs> Jackie Link says, please no. Amy says, ugh, no way. Rob, yeehaw, I reckon the mullet should make a comeback, y'all. <laughs> Rich, yes, it should come back along with high-top fade.